Hey guys, it's me, Tara, the Mud Creek Stitcher. How are y'all doing? I have a special friend today and <laughs> she is a little nervous. That's okay. So we'll give her the love because she's got lots to share and I've already saw, I've seen quite a bit. So I'm very excited. So um, this is Lori. Hello. Hi, Lori. <laughs> uh, Lori and I are stitching buds. Would you say stitching buds? Stitching. Yeah. We're stitching buds uh, thanks to Flosstoom. So we'll tell that story in just a minute. Okay. But before we start, we need to do announcements. I just want to remind you about the cross stitch retreat that Shelly, the Prairie Fire Stitcher, is hosting and I'm helping and you're going to help. We've never been to a retreat. I don't know about how much help we're going to be for Shelly. <laughs> But she took our help. Um, she was excited to hear we were willing to do that. Oh, she had an idea, by the way, that I'll tell later, but not yet. So um, I know it's filling up quick. I will link the information down below. If I'm smart enough, I'll see if I can put something across the bottom of the screen. But we all know that's questionable. Um, I'm just trying to think there's something. It's in Kearney. If you haven't heard this, if you're a new person, hello. If you're an old person, like me and her. Sorry, you're not old. <laughs> I'm older than you. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So, uh, We're of an age. thinks about me. I'm really old. <laughs> <laughs> We're of an age. So, anyways. Um, I don't even know where I was going with that. Do we know where I was going? Oh, it's in Kearney. See, we are old. It's in Kearney, Nebraska, which is right off the interstate. It's amazing. I-80. And where it's at, it's at the Holiday Inn, and you literally get off the exit, and I don't know, you just turn left, and you're pretty much there. So it's very simple to get to. I've seen, um, I haven't seen. Um, Shelly was telling me how many signed up, and it's almost full. So if you can get signed up, that'd be great. And you know, like Shelly said, get on a wait on the waiting list because things happen. People, you know, as we know, people get sick and unfortunately bad things can happen. And so hopefully not. Sorry, I don't want to cause trouble. So that is the Stitching on the Prairie Retreat. And I was just watching another floss tube yesterday. There's another Stitching on the Prairie Retreat and they just had it. Really? Yes. What was that? I don't remember. <laughs> That's how many floss tubes I watch. I have a problem. So um, I thought that was interesting. But this yeah. one's in Kearney. So, and then the next thing is there are so many cells, so many uh, stitch along, you know, stare along. Sometimes just better just to watch. Um, but I am, I know, I had this dream. No, I was just... Like I said, I was like watching Carol, Saltbox Stitcher. It's her favorite. It's one of my favorite. Is she your the favorite? The favorite favorite? Carol? Um probably. Yeah. Pretty of much. My big <laughs> stitcher is pretty high up there too. You know, but it ain't nobody Carol. So um so anyways, I was watching her and she was talking about how when she gets a book, and she of course has all the Blackbird books. That she just goes ahead and buys all the floss right away. And that just got me to thinking. I'm like, I would like to stitch this. I've had this for how long? A couple years. So I went ahead and I'm going to stitch the book. Except there's one pattern I'm not going to do. I'm going to confess now. <laughs> this is confessional time. <laughs> I don't want to do this one. And it's really pretty. But I'm just like. Does that what call to you? I don't know. It's I mean, how they finish it. It's supposed to be a bag. Oh. And uh, you don't have to be. It doesn't have to be a bag. But it's a Scottish fling. Mm. And I'm not, I guess I'm not flinging You're with right. the Scots. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah. it's pretty, but I just... Mm -mm. Okay. I don't want to do it. Now, by next year, I can be all like, Oh, I did it! And 12 others just like it. I don't know. So, that is what's coming up. And I will share later. I made some bags. She's seen a couple. You haven't seen them up close She's that light. I'm on, quite the bag maker now. I'm on a bag roll. <laughs> I'm an old bag. <laughs> so, so, there we go. All right. So, Lori, she's going to give us her stitching journey. 
how did you start your stitching journey? Because everybody <laughs> wants to know, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> so fascinating. <laughs> um, well, I, because I am old, I learned as a kid <laughs> back in the 80s, my aunt was visiting and cross stitching, and I just thought it was so cool. And she's my favorite aunt. And so anything she did, I wanted to do. So she got me started and I Aww. made little, um, they were just, you put them in the ring of like a mason jar, like this, the ring oh, yeah. that screws on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and you, yeah. they'd be all sorts of seasonal things. and The precious moments, I remember those yeah. on the rings. And we put them in those rings. And I made, this is, this is hilarious to me. I made one year for Christmas presents, all my teachers, I stitched their name. You were such a good girl. And put it in a little <laughs> ring and made a Christmas ornament out of them. And wow, one of my teachers says she still puts that on her tree every year. <laughs> and I'm like, that thing's nearly 50 years old. <laughs> You're still walking? <laughs> yeah. You're still hanging stuff? What? So, That's awesome. So anyway. How old were you when you did that? Oh. Were you in elementary or junior no, high? No, I think I, I think I was in seventh grade. That wow. Year. Yeah. Oh Yeah. So, that's so anyway, sweet. that's when I started and I stitched for a few years. Um, but then, I don't know, I got married. I just kind of mm -hmm. wasn't doing it anymore. I thought nobody was doing it because mm -hmm. there wasn't anything around. And um, mm -hmm. no. lo and behold, I found floss tube. Oh, I, think, I think about 2017 is when I started oh, watching. Oh, wow. You're I way think ahead that's of me. when I started watching Stitch and Mommy. She's She's, She's, um, I never miss Stitch and Mommy. Like, I watch everybody kind of hit and miss just because of life. But Monday nights, I am looking for Stitch and Mommy. So, <laughs> so I would say Stitch and Mommy's number one tied with Carol. Yes. Yeah, there you go. And now I'm watching her all the time because I know you're going to watch her all the time. <laughs> And now, thanks to you and her, now I'm considering full coverage. And I'm just like, this yeah. is a problem. So, you yeah. are also, your first love, though, is quilting, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm following my list. I have notes. <laughs> first time I've had notes. <laughs> I feel professional. You look so professional. <laughs> no. Yes, I am a quilter. <laughs> so, in your mom, her, so how we met, well... No, we didn't meet. Her mom taught at the school that I've taught at forever and ever. And she was, I was thinking that she was sped and she was our home economics yeah. teacher <laughs> and did both for like 10 years. Didn't I think she retired at my school. Yes, she retired out at our school. So anyways, I, every once in a while, when I go to Kearney, I would see Mrs. May. That's her mom, Mrs. May, Mrs. May. And we always kind of hit and miss. It was, and we always dashed to each other like, oh. And happened to see Mrs. May at the craft fair in Kearney, and there was her daughter, and she recognized me. And so that's kind of how we got to know each other. I'm like, finally a stitching friend. She's like, I know. <laughs> it's, but quilting, you, your mom's always done quilting, right? Yeah, she and I started about the same time. So roughly, let's see, my oldest daughter's 28, so about 27 years ago. I'm like, You've been I think quilting. I can do this. I've been making clothes. How hard can this be? You know, oh so, <laughs> well. um, so yeah, my, my mom, yeah, was home ec teacher. You and I have two sisters. You had to learn to sew to graduate the family. Oh, that's funny. If you wanted to move out on your own someday, you had to know how to sew a garment, sew wow. a zipper, <laughs> buttons, hem things. I mean, it was just like, you funny? will know how to do this. So. But I am the only one that actually liked it. My sisters did it just to do it, <laughs> make, but I liked it. Make mama happy. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, long story short. But the funniest thing about how we met is I had seen Terrace um, Floss do, and I'm like, this woman looks so close to me. Like, how can I find her? <laughs> And I think I messaged you one time, but Oops. it just, I mean, you messaged me back, but then it's like, Okay, did I really? Yeah, you emailed, but it's like, yeah, I don't know you. How are we going to get together? You know, yeah, stalkers. So then, but <laughs> then I heard her say, "Oh, Hobby Lobby is my favorite yes. store." Yes, it is. And so I would pray <laughs> as I would go to Hobby Lobby. Lord, please let me meet Tara Mud Creek Stitcher today. Never met her there, 
But no. then at this craft fair, that craft fair, which I is like across a the room, lobby. and I'm like, "That's Tara," <laughs> <laughs> and I think I scared her. Oh no! I'm like, you <laughs> she's like, uh, yeah, do no. I know? I did. Not. Well, maybe I did. <laughs> I don't know. That's funny. <laughs> well, and that was funny because we kept talking, and your mom and my daughter were like, <laughs> we were like, yeah, the cross stitch is amazing, you two. You got to do it. Didn't work. What are you though. stitching? No, I'm no, stitching this. No, it didn't right. work. My daughter would cross stitch, but she's got you know an eight month old and a three year old, so. She doesn't have time. Has your mom ever been interested? No, no. She has never had a desire. Never a desire. That surprises me. So that's kind of how we met and how we, I mean, we've been friends for, I don't know, a year and a half, two years. Just about yeah. when I started my floss tube. It was shortly after. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That's crazy. So, <laughs> time flies when we're having fun. So our favorite thing, well, okay, my favorite thing to do is to uh, meet Lori and Carney at the Starbucks. <laughs> I don't think it's her favorite thing, but yes, she does it, it for uh, me. It is. It's my favorite thing is to meet you. Yeah, well, that's very nice. <laughs> and I make her drink coffee. And then our conversations are very animated. <laughs> so, and I'm not drinking coffee right now either. All right, I'm following our notes. Okay. Life updates, I don't really have anything. Harvest is done, and I share that on my Bible study. I do a Bible study as well. We're getting close to the end of Book of John, so that's kind of exciting. And I want to do Proverbs 31. I've been looking for mm -hmm. books. If you have any suggestions, let me know. But then, so um, Amy at Renewing Stitches, have you ever watched her? Yes. Yes, yes. I did watch her the okay. other day. Okay, she... Um, she tempted me, Amy, you tempt her, sent me the Plum Creek, not Plum Creek, Plum Street Samplers, Proverbs 31 pattern. She's like, oh. sent me a picture. She's like, what do you think? And I'm like, oh, I already have one, but so I'm, it would be kind of fun to stitch that while studying. Yeah, that would be. I mean, you might not get far, but at least you're like, hey, I could put in a few stitches. I don't know. So mm -hmm. it's an idea I'm throwing out. So anyways, other than that, harvest is done. We're both working. She's a paraeducator. I'm at school teaching. So kids, we had a high schooler run away today. <laughs> he was just mad. Mad PE teacher ran away. I'm like, where are you going? Did he get very far? He got to the locker room. Oh, like, no. <laughs> what are you That's thinking? Left the school. <laughs> it's just like, it's a small town. No, he didn't even do that. <laughs> I would have left the school. No, he ran to the locker room. It's uh -huh. like, oh my word. So it's been quite, it's been fun. <laughs> we love school. All right, so we're going to start with Lori. I know we've talked quite a bit, so if you fast forward through this, I don't blame you. Um, but Lori is going to start with her attic experience. <laughs> she went to the attic. So Yes. I think I've been to the attic three times. Mm. But my latest trip there... Um, and I can hold stuff up, or you just tell me your. Okay. If she wants this show, I will gladly sit back. Mm -hmm. You like my shirt? It's I don't want to, to show. Someone wooed me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Now, am I going to be able to remember what I told you? Okay. So, anyway, let me start with this one. I picked up Marianne Farmer. Oh, I just love that. Glare, glare, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. Um. And I'm going to be stitching her on this Belfast Antique Ivory. 32 count because... Yeah, she's the linen stitcher. Hold that up there. They're going to gonna wanna see it. She's the linen stitcher. I am not. And ignore my nails as always. True to form. They are crabby. But she's the linen stitcher and it's just gorgeous. All you linen stitchers. Wow. Yes. And I know this is charted for uh, NPI silks, but... Mm. But there's a... I'm going to do the DMC yeah. conversion because we still need to pay the bills, I guess. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So, so or, I got that. Yeah. And then um, my daughter was with me because my daughter lives down in Arizona. And <laughs> She's learning. Sorry, yes. <laughs> she picked this out. It's um, ink circles. And I've never done an ink circles, but... She, um, so she's pretty. a very neutral girl, so we're going to stitch, I'm going to stitch this on 
Um, 32 count Belfast Platinum. Is that what this is? Ooh. Oh, this is fun with two people. Oh, oh that's. And then we're going to. All right, we're going to do. Let's see. What is this called? Stable. Mm. And sticks and twigs. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Do you think you'll get bored though? I, I, well, I hope not. It's not very big. No. Which is nice. No, it's not. So, 111 by 111. Yeah. The thing though that I have found bigger. is it takes, but I guess if you don't have very many colors, you're not going to have quite the color changes like I do. I have a lot of color right. changes on mine. Yeah. That's beautiful though. So, okay. Could you throw a little purple in just to mess with her? <laughs> There's purple in there. like, Mom, we had an agreement. What did you do? <laughs> My daughter, she's, you know, of that. Everything's white. Yeah. Everything's yeah. blank. White and more white. I'm just mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. oh, it's bright in here, isn't it, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and then I got, for me, a little bit of spring Blackbird mm -hmm. Designs. And this is at the attic. Yes. Still, correct. Who doesn't love a blackbird. And who did you meet while you were there? Uh, Carolyn. <laughs> She's the sweetest thing. You just want to be like, we just <laughs> chat for a while. <laughs> <laughs> she, probably and, would. she probably would love to. Um, okay, so I'm going to do this on 32 count Belfast Vintage Smoky White. Okay, now back leg. Yeah. And you can oh, go forward. <laughs> <laughs> back, you know what I need to dance. <laughs> oh, so pretty. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, oh, maybe that's what these are for. Is this? Oh. She wonders she got a bag of some like, bread. What did I buy this for? Oh, I got it for this. Oh yeah, it's a lot of weeks, and that's a yep. lot of weeks right there. Ooh, yeah. those are pretty. Oh. Hold on, my husband's just walking in. We're gonna pause. Yeah. <laughs> 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 my poor husband. Did y'all hear that? Try not to cough, honey. He's been She's sick really... for a month. Okay, I'm I'm totally a beginner Ooh. so i don't know how to show this i don't know either that right. thing's on the rings yet that's so pretty oh what's this one um oh uh, yeah old red paint love sampler thread no gentle arts gentle arts oh that's so pretty okay so, anyway okay that's that this is fun seeing it all over again and i think that's all i got at the attic that day I and you got a picture I got yeah, with the picture with Carolyn. Okay. Sure. I put it on Carolyn. my Instagram because mm -hmm. she is the bear. Or no, I didn't put that one on my Instagram. I didn't put that picture on my Instagram. Oh, you didn't? I put myself oh, yeah. in front of the attic. That's right. Because I thought that's what you do. It is. I'm it's how we show new to everything. I'm new to <laughs> all social media things. She asked me how to put pictures on her Instagram. <laughs> I'm like, ask your daughter. She's like, she didn't know either. So somebody else. Was it the teacher? The teacher oh, it was my my quilting friend. Her quilting She's friend. She's like, oh, I can show you how to do that. I'm like, cool. Mm -hmm. Nobody else can. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And then this is just some random charts that mm -hmm. I just got in the mail. And they're beautiful. The other day from 123Stitch, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I found this. I love that one. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like I've seen someone stitch it, but it could be something different. I'm not sure. Yeah, I've never, I had never seen it until I was shopping that day. So but anything red, green with a basket of flowers, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm there. So it's a Rosewood Manor. Yes. Cottage, Cornwall Cottage. And then um, this Frankfurt Flowers by Lottie Da. Oh, so cute. I opened this up and I had a heart attack. Because I didn't think it was all there. Oh. Like the, the papers were so stuck together <laughs> that I thought they hadn't sent me the whole thing. And I'm like, seriously? Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? <laughs> no, but it was there. It was it's fine. fine. Um, and then I got all joys for thine. I don't think I've ever seen that one. The Blackbird. 
I've seen someone stitches, but I can't remember who. But it's a Zap that. English motif sampler. Mm. Yes. That's pretty. And then the chart of mm. all charts. Yep. The Scarlet House. I'm going to ask for that for Christmas. Floral now. <laughs> motif sampler. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. it and the, the linen just looks like it's just a neutral. Mm hmm. And I don't really know what this looks like. They stitch it on whitewash? No. Lakeside linen vintage. Prairie grass. Okay. Oh, I need it for a retreat. Yeah. From Seraphim. Suitable substitute is Lakeside Linens Vintage oh, okay. Pearl Barley. But it's very pinkish when you look, mm -hmm. look at it up close. It looks like it's good. It does. So I don't know if it's... Jessica Sweetwater Stitcher, she's stitching that. And I know... Is it... That's my husband. And I know... Uh, oh, Sarah's stitch... Is it Sarah Stitchy Spot? I can't remember. She's got it behind her in her videos. Oh, yeah. I have seen that. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yay! So, or, okay. you know, someday in the future. It's fun seeing all this stuff. And then I got a piece of... Um, she got more linen. Yeah. 32 count, again. Um, Belfast Linen Vellum. Mm. Vellum. I was telling her I have a piece of vellum, but it looks different. Zig back up. I know. It's not showing very well, is no, it? It's a little bit washed out. It's so yeah, pretty and delicate. Yay! So I think that's all my her booty haul. Her booty or haul. Got another package coming. I'm like, oh. Should I go check the mail before I come to Terry? <laughs> you should have. I may find. <laughs> okay, so following my notes. Time to show whips. And I thought you were serious. I asked her if she'd bring her whips yesterday, and she's like, maybe. <laughs> I'm like, maybe she's more nervous than I realized. And then she's like, well, okay. And then I'm like, well, you don't have to. And she's like, I was just kidding. I'm like, okay. No. Okay. So I'm going to show her. Sarcasm doesn't working. text well. I guess not. I it's my mother tongue. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna. I've been doing all kinds of things. So, what have you all been working on? That one? Okay. Yeah. Well, since she showed the ink circles, I'll pull out my ink circles. So, you, you've gone to town on that one. I haven't seen that. It's. What's well, After the Roses? And I hope that's not glaring. Still, it's just not good light in here, but that's okay. And I have to take all the junk off. <laughs> This is the part, because as a lot of you do, I make copies of the charts to stick on my project, and then I, you know, shred it later or burn it later. It's my husband. Okay. So here we go. Oh, I pulled pretty. it out and worked on it. Call for colors. What's the color of your, I don't know, fabric? Don't remember. Oh, okay. Something pretty. Yeah. yeah. I think it's fiber on a whim. I'm sure it is. It's probably like cream and sugar, milk and honey, something. Or the other way, honey, sugar, <laughs> milk. Cream and milk. <laughs> I don't know. It's one of something those. Something sweet. Something sweet. Okay. So there's that whip. And I'll get that out of the way. Do you have a whip you want to show? Oh, no, I'll just leave this. See, um, this is nice. Oh, here. Okay. This is so close to a finish, but it is still a whip because I have teeny tiny little this I don't know stems of the grapes or something left to put in there but Tara and I started this together New January. Year's Day yeah and um, she put LT on hers so I put TL on mine <laughs> and this is on Belfast cream uh, 32 yeah. so pretty so, so I didn't do the house exactly as charted. I used the colors it called for. Mm -hmm. I just mixed them up. I didn't do them in blocks like Yeah, the she didn't should. like that. And I was I like, just, well, I'll stay true to the pattern. Yeah. But they both, it really doesn't matter. And no, honestly, it's, it's mine's up over there. You can't tell. No. Either way, you can't tell. 
Okay, then another whip I have is my big toe. I'm actually working on this. My big toe. That is that is the best name. Mm -hmm. I love names. Yeah, I want to <laughs> know why my big toe though. Yeah. I would like to know. Did they just like, oh, I stubbed my big toe. toe. That would be a great name <laughs> for our company. Oh. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Okay, deep thoughts. Um, I wonder if it would help the colors. It's getting darker. I don't know if you guys can tell. You know, daylight savings time. Does that help? I don't know if it helps. But that's the pattern. My big toe. It's the books of the Bible. Uh, Amy, we're doing stitches. She said she's working on it. She's shown hers. I'm doing not quite the call for, but pretty close. Ooh, I love that. What a ruby I, slipper. Yeah, I chose a darker red because I was oh, like... Yeah. I like red. Right. Yeah. You have to wear my glasses. I know they're gorgeous, but I can't see a thing. Uh -huh. I wear glasses. I know I'm not gorgeous. So this is where I'm at on it. So I kind of move that over. I just kind of worked my way down, and I'm just literally focusing just on the the books. So I got these are the books I've read so far in the Bible, and now I'm in Judges, and I just. I finished the story of Samson again. Oh, Samson. What a guy. <laughs> He's not my favorite. <laughs> and I don't remember. It's on 18 count. Um, one over one. So. Mm. It doesn't look bad. No. Oh, looks very nice. I mean, if I was to start over again, maybe a more thicker, dark brown color. But it's molasses I chose. So, I don't I know. I like it. I love that red. Ruby I do too. Slipper. It's ruby slippers. I and I just started digging in stash because somebody's been griping at me about too much. And it's not Lori. <laughs> it's not you. <laughs> it's my husband. Have you seen our credit card bill? No. Mm -mm. No. What, what? What bill? Speaking of which, our credit card number got stolen again. Oh no. Second That's time in six months. So, hmm. I know. Those hackers, they're out there. The dark web is real. <laughs> did you know that? I did not know that. It's real. The darkness of the, the dark web, web is real. Yes. I also Googled how to get on the dark web. Apparently, you shouldn't do that. FBI might take notice. So, oh. anyways, um, do you have more whips oh. you want to share? Um, yes. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yes. Maybe. Um, you show another one. I gotta collect okay. myself here. And I do, I have a whole bunch of whips for a little whip parade to show, but I'm showing you the whips I'm doing right now. So I, Christmas, I'm all about Christmas. So, but before I do Christmas and I'm wearing a Christmas shirt, I do have a fully finish. It's a miracle. It is this. Finally, I'm was very proud of myself. It's Brenda Gervais, Queen of Harvest. Isn't that cute. I finished it um, Priscilla Blaine style. We know Priscilla. Okay, I'm gonna go forward for the stitching though. And I did it uh, one thread over one square. It's 18 count Ada. So I did get it done. So now I'll get that way because that was a large space. <laughs> So I'm very proud actually of the finish. Yes, that is so cute. Okay, go ahead. Never mind. Um, she's going next. Okay, so Blackbird Design, Dear Daughter. I've been working on. I love that. This. Yes. That's so pretty. I didn't press this, so. You know, I've know. hardly yeah. seen anyone do this. I saw like one other no, floss to I, it. I, years ago, I saw it a lot. Oh, did I you? I haven't seen it wow. recently as much. There's, mm. I still have the little flowers around the edge to go. Sorry, I didn't press this one. I'm gonna go turn on some lights. But I do this. like the, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I used the called for it on the house, but it looks so different um, in person. But anyway. I'm gonna get light. Is that okay? It's so pretty. Oh. So anyway, yeah, there's that. This was actually, okay, this, you want to know stories, was my f 
first attempt at linen. Really? Yeah. Wow. So you did really good. That's so pretty. It's all pretty. <laughs> and I'm gonna say that over and over. Okay, and then, so back to Christmas. I'm in the Christmas mode completely. So this, I did it. I ordered the NPI silks because it's not very many. If you look, oh, there's, it's just that. Oh, yeah. 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 So I'm like, okay. So oh. it's Heaven and Nature <laughs> Sing by Kathy Barrick. I really want to get the black swan that's a companion to this. And then I saw another one that's another companion to this. So I know. And that's my husband in the background again. <laughs> Poor Gail. He's such a nice guy. We love each other. <laughs> okay. So I really hit it hard last week and I worked on it pretty much every day it's last so week. Pretty. And it's on. Guess what? What? I ordered that. Yay. That might be in my mailbox today. Yay! And it's really pretty. This is a Bestitch Me 18 count something. I don't know. I'm getting to the point. I don't keep track anymore of what kind they all are. I need to do that. So if I can find it, I'll let you know. So I started this tree this morning. I was like, oh, what do I want to do? And I'm like, I want to do the tree. So there's quite a few trees, but really, if you look, it's not that bad. Once yeah, you get that done, big. you can hit that tail. That's what I'm excited. I really want to get that deer. That's going to be the hard one. And I'd like to tackle that first because I feel like I actually got something done. Okay, so there's that one. Oh, these are the flosses. No, it's not. Wrong stitch. Oh, it's after the roses. <laughs> I better keep things together. Okay. <laughs> this could be really bad. <laughs> See, nobody knows what you go through. And do you have another um, whip? Yes. yes. Yes, I do. Um, okay, this is from the Sewing Club mm. Blackbird Designs. Um, and it is the drum. The first little... Oh yeah. Drum in here. Um, so funny. I know. Cursey ring light. Yeah. Is that and this is how far I am on it. Close, but no cigar. Oh, it is close. close. Wow. I've not seen it since I saw you start it. Yeah. Wow. So and then you are supposed to stitch the top. Of the drum, you know, this uh -huh. ring of flowers and stuff. Oh, really? And I don't know if I'm going to. I uh -huh. might just try to find a pretty piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I just thought, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how motivated you are. Yes. Oh, wow. You are so, she's so close. I don't know what linen this is. I'm sorry. It's 32 <coughs> feet. You can be rest assured of that. Lots of mystery but fabric tonight. I have tonight. no idea what color it is. It's a pretty color. Pretty. Okay. And then I pulled this out because I'm really, like I said, feeling the Christmas vibe before I interrupted myself. And it's Christmas in Blue, Joan Elliott. I am going completely traditional. She did it on uh, 14 count. It's called for 14 count Ada white or 28 count. So I had 14 count Ada in my, here I'm gonna hold this up because this is where I'm at. I'm up here on the angel. Um, when I did the the Smalls Exchange, uh, Mrs. Holly Jones, she, she did it, sponsor it? I don't know. She did it and so anyways, the person who sent me something for the exchange, she sent me this Ada and that's the Ada I'm using. So I really, I, you know, I was afraid I'd get bored just doing the same color. Okay, I'm not taking this off. The same color over and over, but I really been enjoying it. There's like four different blues and then this gray color. So very, very old school. Look at that. This is an angel, if you're wondering. And that border, it took forever. It's so fun to do. I like backstitch. Is that evil? Is that wrong? No. 
That again, it's a little bit weird. That's not even weird. Okay, fine. Just kidding. Fine, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> JK, as my kids always say. But I think my husband would agree. So <laughs> what I'm really excited to do is the pattern calls for this right here. This is what I'm excited to do. Because mm -hmm. you crisscross it, I don't know if you can see that, over the top of the angel. Oh, yeah. And see, there's going to be these pops of gold beads. I've never beaded yet. I have 5,000 beads. but. You'll go over the top of it. I don't know. What's oh, it? this is treasure braid. Oh, I've heard about braid. this stuff. Yeah, I've never used it. Wow. It's time. Time to grow up. So, oh, and then, I know, and gold <laughs> beads as well. So the gold beads will go for all over. I mean, it's good. And I'm surprised. I mean, I did this angel this week mm -hmm. in the mornings before school. I'm like, okay, it's just the border that's just going to take the time yeah well that might take time too yeah. but I figure I want to yeah. okay well yeah but I figure I want to get the top part the angel done silent night and that'll be it for this year that's kind of my goal just yeah. kind of get that all done and then next year start that so cool. yay all right do you have more um this is so fun she's <laughs> I just I really like seeing all her stuff <laughs> so. Okay, another rose with manner. I've been working on this for quite a while. Let's just say that. I didn't it's know called have that. Silent Sampler. Ooh. You've never brought that one before to stitch, have you? No. This is new. This is exciting. Uh, okay. And this, I'm stitching on. Oh my word. Okay, you know what? I don't know what this is either. I, it looks like it kind of looks like vintage country mocha, but I don't know if that's what this is because I never thought I needed to keep track you know of anything. What? I think you're right. I think you're right. Oh my goodness. Oh, hold up. Can I adjust the color? Let me, let me try. Tell me if this is more true for color because I'm struggling here. Is that look better? That does look a little better. Oh, that's so pretty. So, yeah. This is, I'm just using DMC. Wow. Um, I don't think. Oh, oh wow. maybe it is. No, it calls for DMC, but I didn't use all the, all the called for. I think I changed some of it. That is beautiful. So. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. okay. I don't have any more whips, so do you have any more whips? Um, yeah. I just have my little whip parade that I'm going to do. Okay. Um, okay, I'll show you this one. I just started American Sampler oh. on Election Day. I decided it needed a patriotic stitch. For I day. was, so when you stitch that and show that, I'm like, is that the one I think it is? And then I Googled it. I'm like, oh, that's the one I thought it was. <laughs> that's big. I've, I haven't gotten very far. 227 by 189. Just got the little star started, one of the flags. Mm, got to hold it closer. I'm sorry. People like me, I want to see. But it keeps blowing out a little bit, doesn't it? I know. But this is 32 Lighting. count Belfast linen cream and sugar. Mm. I ordered this, I believe, off of that one, two, three stitch good. or everything cross stitch. Uh -huh. One of the two. So it's not milk and cream or no, honey it's and, cream sugar. and sugar. <laughs> it's so pretty. Cream and sugar. <laughs> Whatever. It's something off white. Yes, Can we just say is. off white? It's very pretty <laughs> off white. I love it. Okay, so give me a one. calm and thankful heart from every murmur free. The blessings of thy grace and part preserve our liberty. Sick, simper, tyrannous. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. I think. Okay, sounds so official. Are you gonna make us chili soup? Oh, that's what we're eating. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was the plan. You make it, we'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I... Okay. I see. Thanks, hon. Okay. See, he knows this is going to be on floss too, so. So, <laughs> so to show. Tara, what did Ooh. I do with my book? My book. 
<coughs> the, this stitch is it. Oh. Okay, I, I, it's here somewhere. I promise. Is it? In, it's not in this, is it? Oh, is it? I don't know. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Home for the holidays. Mm. I, I like Blackbird a little bit. She does. Actually, she, a lot. A lot. I want to do this bird on the back. The cardinal? Oh, I think it's Floss, Floss, and Cousins. One of them just finished that. Okay. Yes, it's so pretty. I love the Floss, Floss, and Cousins. That's another duo. They are so funny. And the, <laughs> their stitching is just beautiful. And, oh, I can't remember which one. I don't quite have their names, but short hair one that I identify with. She's going to... Okay. Christy and Callie. Thank you. She, Callie's going to start to... Uh, Mirabilia's. Well, Nora Corbett's the fairies. Oh, small ones, yeah. So. They're so cute. Yeah. So this is what I'm working on. Christmas garden in this book. Oh, so pretty. And Carolyn at the attic. Help me pick Ooh. out the linen and the flosses. I didn't really care for the, what was called for just on the reds just because it was kind of pinky and I'm like mm, she's not a pinky I'm not a pinky red but you're wearing pink I'm, I'm red, just saying red. <laughs> yes I know I mean I like pink oh but goodness. for Christmas I didn't want pinky reds I wanted red reds so I substituted what they called for for manor red oh it's so pretty and then the green I'm using the DMC and she got the whole border done too because mm -hmm. that's what Carol said to do. Carol said, you get your bones done and make sure everything matches. Some people call it the fruits and vegetables. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what a good idea, Carol. And it is, and it, I will prove shortly why that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, I have, I have been working on this one. I so many other things I should oh, be working I on right now for this Christmas. One. You've got like, all the ones I want. I, I have to borrow this from you when you're done okay. someday. We'll have to do. So back in the day when I was little, I had a ton of Barbie dolls. Every time my mom went shopping, she brought me home a Barbie doll. This what is what she did. <laughs> Yeah, that all ended in the 80s when everything crashed and depression and whatever and all that stuff. Remember when farms all went tank? That was us. But in the meantime, my best friend, Stacy, she also had a ton of Barbies and Barbie clothes. So every time, and like every weekend we were at each other's house, we would dump all of our Barbie stuff right before it's time to go home. We'd dump it all in the middle of a pile, the Barbies and the clothes, and we would be like, okay, can I have this one? Yes. Can I take this Barbie this week? Sure. And you can do this. <laughs> can I have that? Well, I just got that. Okay. It's new. I get it. Okay. And we would trade Barbies and Barbie clothes. And then the next weekend, we'd do it all <laughs> over again. Oh, we'd play fun. Barbies, dump it in the middle, trade. It was a lot of fun. So we should do that with patterns. <laughs> yes. Dump we them should. out, trade. <laughs> I'd get the better end of that deal. Oh, so, okay. Okay, and then I do have one more whip. Mm, I love this one. Dimensions, oh, a treasure it time. Oh, it's so pretty. I can't believe, I was like, that's full coverage. She's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not. You see, oh, sorry. This part of the sky, yeah. is, that's Ada showing through. It's not stitched. Uh, it's full coverage. <laughs> <laughs> it's full coverage. That is so pretty. Okay, and I stitch in hand, and I roll them up like stitching mommy does. So can you help me hold that down? Oh, I can the help. Roll. <laughs> Thank Isn't you. Isn't that pretty? Oh, oh very my close, gosh. but I haven't I haven't done hardly any back stitching. How long have you been working on this? Um, you say? I, I'd rather not say no. Okay, like, since t probably twenty eighteen. <laughs> That's actually really good. <laughs> It is so pretty. Oh my gosh. My son in law is like, wow, you still did your mama? And I'm like, yes. Is this 14 or 18? Or I think it's 16. 16. It was what came in the kit, oh, but I think so it's 16. So, oh, but there's so much half stitches in it. Really? That it's kind of oh, yeah. gone wonky on me. It's not like score to the world, you know? Uh -huh. So I hope that blocks out. I have no idea. But I've been watching Teresa Little Stitcher. 
and she has a series of videos all about full coverage and how to do it every step. And I mm. bet she, I haven't got super far. I've watched four of them because I want to do full coverage. So I'm like trying to research. Yeah. So. See, I'm just like, okay, buy it, start it. You know, I'm like, I have to think this that? through. <laughs> I have to think this through and it's do just it right. Thread. Right, people? It's just thread. Okay, that's a good point. <laughs> okay, before I start my little mini whip parade with my assistant, I'm going to hand stuff to you. Okay. Um, this, I don't have the threads yet, but I'm going to go through um, hashtag 2025 stitch the book. Is that it? what it is? Guys, I yeah. cannot remember. Is that it? I don't know. Uh, it's on Instagram, so please join. I know several of you said you're planning to join. And I'm doing this book. Um, I've had it for two years. I'm just like, enough's enough. So I've ordered threads. I had this grand plan. I was going to do all these different threads and colors. In reality, no. Um, that's too much work. So Tara got tired. So I'm... Oh, did I tell you? I stitched a book. Oh, oh what book are you doing? This one. <gasps> oh, this is like my, yeah. This is my stitch the book plans. Are you going to do all of them? Or just... I think so. I mean, there's Ooh. nothing in here I hate, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Okay. <laughs> there's nothing I hate. Oh, that's all pretty. Yeah, I... There's a lot yeah, I've never There's another seen. drum in here that I think is really oh, cool. Oh, there is. There's a lot. Sorry, guys. There's a I lot there. It's so pretty. Drum, I love. Oh, right. So, <laughs> if you want to flip in the book for me, assistant, I do. Because <laughs> I, like I don't want to show them the pattern because, you know, that's wrong. It's Bittersweet Acorn is one of the first ones I would like to do. If that happens, I don't know, because as we know, plans. Um, oh, and this is the bag I made. I made this bag myself following Elizabeth Ann can stitch her little thing. Okay, so this is the fabric. I thought I would do it all. What do you think of this? Oh, wow. I know. That's fun. This I got from Atomic. It's Atomic Ranch Fabrics by you, 16 count. <laughs> Atomic Ranch. Another <laughs> great name. I don't know. I know. Come, and why is that? So. It's, well, it's a little more orangey than it's showing, but it's very It pretty. does look orangey. I kind of like that, though. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is a fall book. Exactly. So... That's Thank that one. Stitch. Thank you, assistant. So, and would you look at my stitching later and tell me what I could do to improve? She's a good sewer. I am not. I'm still a beginner in many ways. I've only been doing it four or five years. This one is Token of Love. And this one is the one I actually got those Vicky Clayton silks for. Ooh. I know. And they are just not very expensive. They just aren't. Another bag I made myself. So proud of myself. Um, but that's fabric that's at so Norfolk when we were in that oh, cold store. Yeah. So, and I want to do it on Mocha 18 count. And I'll do <coughs> one over, one cross. And everybody's, everybody's got Mocha. So I'm like, oh, I don't it out. Sorry about the crinkles. So there's that one. I was on a bag roll, people. Oh, and the zippers. Of the... Yes. Oop. I already got it caught in my fabric because I'm so excited. Everybody the zippers are Lori Holt zippers. As close as I could get to her. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? And then the oh, the squirrel is so cute. Fall gathering. There's a couple. There's three of them in this one, because they're all smalls. And I made this bag, it's my farm chicken bag. At first I'm like, I kept trying to turn the fabric around and around and around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then I was like, oh. What'd you say, fall gathering? Yes, okay. and this is the inside, oh, see the chickens. Okay, so moving on. <laughs> so fall gathering, I'm gonna do it. I found this <clears throat> scrap, it's oaken. It's 18 cal oaken. Oh, I like that. I do too. 
So this is picture this plus, and I need to order more open, but you know, our credit card number is stolen, so. So, so somebody else is something. ordering Oaken. Mm. <laughs> and then on the same Oaken, I don't know what this one is. It's a little pumpkin. It's the little pumpkin pillow strip. There oh. it is. What's it called? <clears throat> I don't even know. Oh, well. Mm. Nice day. But I thought on the Oaken, see all of those I want to do on the Oaken and then like put them together somehow, some way. That's so pretty. Do you I think, think my, that, my flosses would show up on all that? <clears throat> hmm. Okay, well, I'll find out. Because that Oaken's pretty dark. Hmm. Oh. I'll find More out. Yeah, yeah, it is. And then the other one is did we do the squirrel yet? Mm -hmm. Okay. This one. I don't know what it's called. I just copied. Is, is that it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what it's called. Sky full of birds. Sky full oh, of birds. Sky full of birds. Mm -hmm. Yay. That's of a funny name. Well, there's this. There. I'm like, there are the birds. There are the little tiny birds. Up there. there they are. Yeah, they're so pretty. I love these small ones. You know, it's time for me to get back to small things. And then another bag I made. I need five bags. It's the bag lady. <laughs> yes, I am. I, don't know, I think I said I'm an old bag. Um, Got this from Fat Quarter Shop. That was that sale, six dollars and fifty cents a yard. Oh yeah, they're getting rid of their fabric. Yeah. I'm like, cha ching. So this one is Autumn Abundance, and I, they did it as a weird squishy bag. Please don't mock me. It looks like a weird squishy bag to me. I would rather try and do a drum with it after she does, and then she can teach me how to do it. Autumn Abundance. Yes, is it a weird squishy? Oh, it's a pumpkin. Oh, it's a pumpkin. It's not a weird squishy bag. It's a pumpkin. Don't you think? She's right. <laughs> I'm like, weird squishy bag. I don't want to do it that. It does look squishy, but I think it's a pumpkin. Okay, I want a drum. <laughs> and I thought this fabric. And what I don't, is that called? I don't know. It's kind of purpley almost. It kind of is. Oh, I have a name. Oh, she does. Shale. Shale. Shale, <laughs> Shale no. <laughs> There it is. Yeah. It's PG. Right? It is PG. <laughs> For the most part. Yeah. For the most part. Okay, so that is that one, right? Yep. And that'll be the pumpkin, which I did not know. And the final oh, yeah. one, I got this fabric in Colorado. Not this. I had this fabric at home already. Mm, I think I got cool. it at Prairie Point Junction, mm. which is in Curls Ed. I, which is worth your yes, it is varying off Interstate 80. I got your from Colorado Blackbirds. Oh, is that on your? Oh no, that's your fabric behind it. I thought it was on the plastic for a second. Oh, it could have been. That's What's my stitching? Cool. So. I want to do, it's the very back, because I know okay. this was the reason I bought the book, was this pattern. And then everything else, I'm like, oh, that one. one. Yep. Moonlight mm -hmm. Garden. Yep. And I'm thinking this color. What do you think? Too yeah. dark? I don't know. I like it. Yeah. Died by me. You died by me? <laughs> I did. Look at you go. I felt like a professional. What did now. you... Look what color did you dye that one? It was writ dye. You know, it was what, in my closet. Was it a purple? Could have been. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I was just like throwing things in, boiling things. <laughs> like, I am a professional dyer. Maybe I can have a business someday. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. But I just love my butt. Yeah. Bird. That would, the, the, um. She thinks that would work. The, uh. What's that color? Orange. Yeah. Well, it would yeah. really look nice. On yeah, that, it would. Maybe the lettering. And the gold of that moon. That would look, yeah, that would look nice on that. I almost thought it'd be fun to get some of the more of that treasure braid and do the letters in oh, shame. Here we go. I like sparkle. Okay, so those are my bags. I'm waiting on my floss to come. That should be coming soon, and I'm going to sort it off into my bags. 
And I want to do 12 by 12. And these, I want to try to start all of them New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Watch, I'll get the flu and be barfing all the time and that's not going to happen. Okay. But that is, I want to do the 12 by 12. Yeah. I know everybody's talking about it and it just makes me get excited. So that's where you start 12 things in 12 hours? Is yeah. That what that means? Yeah. Okay. But I have yet to make it to midnight for the last decade. <laughs> what a lightweight. <laughs> and you're up till what? Super late. What? <laughs> I don't know. Yep. I go I go to I get in a good sleep about the time Tara gets up. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the truth. Alright, so really quick, a little whip parade of some things I've worked on. She didn't know I was gonna make her do all this. She's become my assistant. So the wisdom of Lori, who listened to Carol, why you should do the border first. This piece. I screwed up that bottom border. I was working my way slowly down and I am still fighting the border on the bottom. It is still not correct. It's really cute, but I'm so mad at the border. See it sticking out? I just left it. I don't care. I yeah. frogged it oh, like three what times. What are we looking at? On the bottom. There's the little fuzzy sticking out. I just gave up. Oh, right here? Yeah, the thread's well, what, sticking out. But what's I gave wrong up. with that border? The count is off. Oh. And so I started ripping. I thought I had it fixed. No. Started ripping again. And then thought I had it fixed. No. And then I said, you're going to go bye-bye. Wow. But Poor the chick chicken. I know. The chicken's cute. So I'm like, I will get back to this. But I'm not mentally there yet. <laughs> But I will do it. And that's Stacy Nash. I do believe it's the spring pin keep. And I do love the that little basket. That is cute. That was fun to do. Yeah. With, let's see, yeah. I love the back stitch. Specialty stitches and Ooh. everything. Look at you go. And then this one was awful to put down. I did not want to put it down. And um, there's no more Julian Jane. Have you seen this? Julie and Jane, oh, what was their floss tube? Y'all know what it is. Um, they've disbanded for various reasons. Mm -hmm. And so now it's just, it's not just, it's Julie and her daughter, Catherine. She always talks about Catherine going up to Welcome Stitchery with Justine and Shelly. And she does the heart anger and all that stuff. So anyways, mm -hmm. so they've done two floss tubes already. They are hilarious. Mother, daughter, they are hilarious. I well, I laugh really hard in my classroom because I'm watching it when I should be grading papers. And then people are peeking in like, what's going on? I'm like, <laughs> you wouldn't get it. But hello. So, <laughs> sidebar to get to, Julie has this done. And her daughter was unrolling it because she had it rolled up. Mm -hmm. And it was slowly, it was like slowly going up. And she, her face, her daughter's face like, you know, <laughs> how big? Because her daughter's fairly new to stitching. Oh, yeah. She's like, how big is this? And then Julie's like, and then I'm going to do the spring one. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I got done. This is on Dune. Picture of this plus, I believe. I think it's picture of this pluff. Pluff. Whatever. 18 counts. <laughs> I don't know. We've it's been talking of, so much. This is going to be a long pluff, too. We're, <laughs> we're struggling here, but I... I was telling Lori, for me, this is perfect. There's the perfect amount of fill-in with these blocks, the perfect amount of colors, nice variety. It's, it has all the elements I want in stitching. Wow. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I, it was hard putting it down. Oh, and I am the blue. The reason the birds are blue, I'm doing the shepherd's bush conversion. So if you look at this, the birds are black. And so there's some pops of blue, which I love blue. So, I mean, for me. Is that pig blue? Um, no. You haven't stitched Oh, yet. sorry. And like I said, I'm not doing all. I I'm not doing the Halloween know. blocks. So. But I, I love this so much. This was really hard to put down. But I'm like, no, must move on. <laughs> I had to accept. I was like, I bet I could get five blocks done. Starting in September, I thought, through October. That's a no. That's a hard no. That's it. Yeah. Three blocks. 
that's what I got done, and I'm very happy with them. So that, that was hard to put down, though. I really, really like it a lot. And another one I keep daydreaming about is the Summer Quaker. I love it. And, oh, do you watch Samantha Hugo Stitcher? No. You should watch her. She's in Canada. Is she in Manitoba or something like that? I don't know. Um, she showed her Autumn Quaker by Leela Studio. Oh. I'm like, no, I said I wasn't going to do anything like that until this is done. But, oh, my goodness, it's so pretty. You're like, oh, I'm weak. I'm weak. Thank goodness our credit card was stolen. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so I've shown this before. And I can't. I don't remember. It's on 16 count. It's called Vanilla Latte. But by Joe. Vanilla latte. Yeah. And it's sweet, I bet. <laughs> did you ever get your drink? I did. Ooh, Pumpkin yeah. cream mm. chai latte. Ah, so there, it was it both was. of them. Mm -hmm. She used to remember what drink she got at Starbucks. <laughs> so I love this. It's so pretty. And I just want to keep doing it. But it's going to be like my desserts or something like that. Just every once in a while, I think I'll pull it out and work on it. And I really should cut my fabric down. Is that really how you eat dessert? Yeah. Just once in a while? Well, <laughs> no, twice a day. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> so start with that. If I'm still hungry, yeah. I'll have some salad, you know? <laughs> I really like dessert. I have a pro See, my dad was a little Debbie man. So he yeah. would bring home... It's your job to eat. Yeah, he'd bring home cases of Swiss rolls. What are you oh, supposed to do? Oh, what a childhood. <laughs> your mom brought you Barbies and your dad brought you Swiss cake rolls. Yeah. Well, you had to learn how to make your own clothes. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Mrs. May, no offense. Yeah. <laughs> if you are watching, <laughs> what you mad at me? Yeah. Her, her. Okay, and then I pulled this back out and... Another one I'm daydreaming about. Um, Pam just keeps stitching. Pam and Steph. Mm -hmm. Pam's got quite a bit done on this Live on Little. Oh, Pam. And there are... <laughs> is it Christy Crosshatch Quilter? Yes. She might have She's this done. Fave. She is a fave. Oh, she's just amazing. And I love how she always says, my friend Lori. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like... That's not just any friend, Lori. Yeah, we know. That is the Lori. We know who Lori is. <laughs> and you are blessed. So this is, it is on, I'm so glad I have the tag on, 16 count fiber on a whim, affogato. Affogato. Another name. I love that name. Uh, does it mean something? I, I don't know. I don't. Okay, I have to go back here. But Can you see anything? <laughs> I'm looking through the fabric. Yeah, you can see a little okay. bit. Okay, okay, can see. Bring it a little closer. Closer. There you go. Oh, see, this is so nice having somebody to tell me. <laughs> so I was determined to get to that water and get to that house first after this happy they morning. Love those little, they look like carnations. I don't I know if they're know. supposed to, but they're so cute. And it was tempting to just focus on that, but I'm like, you know what? I want to get that house done. I want to get the house and the water done, and then this will be more dessert. More dessert. More little Debbie cakes. Swiss rolls. Those are my favorite. Yeah, Swiss rolls. Mine Loves, too. Love Swiss rolls. That's why I don't eat them, because I could eat a case like I used to as a kid. <laughs> so I may have been a really funny child. <laughs> Still am. Okay, and then I showed this one, so that's done. This one is my epic fail, frustrated, don't know what to do. Ew. And I just... I love that fabric. Why is this an epic fail? Because... I, okay, first of all, I already lost the pattern again. <laughs> this is, every time I do a floss tube, I lose this pattern. <laughs> every time. It's possessed, which is bad because it's, his eye is on the sparrow. Oh, it's not, not possessed then. No, but it's just like. It just needs a fresh it's, renewing of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> See, dude, he's doing this to me. So it's on. Uh, 16 count, yes. No, I think that's 18 count. What is it? Teacup, dirty teacup from Needle and Flax. Pretty. My problem is, number one, it's huge. It's very uncomfortable to try and work with. And I don't have a frame or yeah. 
and I don't want, I can't stitch like that because my arm couldn't do it. Um, and also the DMC conversion is not correct. Aww. It's all messed up in the pattern I have. And somebody, I was watching someone, they said there's a book. Well, you can't get the book. So that's why it's been painful and slow. And so part of me is just like, Tara, buck up. Do the do the border first. Do what Lori would do. do <laughs> border. And then I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so maybe one of these I days. Do it, Lori. I don't want to do it, Lori. I don't want to do it. I should do what Lori does because Lori's smart. So that one is a whip that I'm still working on. And who knows where the pattern was. I was so proud I found it before you came. I don't know. It's got to be there somewhere. And then we tried to start this. Ooh. Yeah. Yay. She has hers too. Look, uh, they match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, We're twinning. A uh, little gal in Alabama, Megan, had asked about uh, stitching along, and so we're like, yeah, but it fizzled out. And Megan, if you're out there, I know she kind of lost her stitchy bug. I hope you Aww. find it again. Yeah, go but look for it. It sounds like her life was very busy, so she, mm -hmm. but she got the border all done. So this is where I'm at. So look at your fabric. Yeah, well, at least you started it. I bought the stuff, and that's about as far as I got. This is on 18 count vellum. Ada. So yours is. Look at that. Can you read that? It's the count thirty six count Highland Edinburgh linen. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I like yours way better. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Ah, oh, it. I mean, you feel like you're looking at Scotland look at with a wee brogue. <laughs> that is so pretty. And I like mine. I know. I can't wait to start it. Yeah. You know, I and it's got spring. Know. You know what I mean? Yeah. February, March. And there's lots of pink. Are you going to change the pink, do you think? Hey, that rhymes. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, too fast. Too much. <laughs> um, no, I'm just going to go with it. Okay. It is pretty. Well, yeah. and I guess, okay, so like mine. Oh, I love how yours looks on there. It is. This is, yeah, 36, you said that, 36 yeah. count. So I think that's part of the reason I'm procrastinating is I don't stitch that little. And what on earth possessed me to get this? I don't know. It's pretty. It is pretty. I love it. So I use Mag Eyes, which I've shown and talked about. And she, she uses, eyes. yep, Mag Eyes. And she uses double readers, two readers sometimes. No. Or just one. Just one. Just one. They're just a little more powerful than they normally use to read. So she can do it. She can do anything. All right. And then, yeah, so I don't know. I got to figure out what to do about that. Then um, when I saw Amy renewing stitches, she does a video almost every week. She has the most she calming, does. soothing voice. I couldn't believe how fast hers pops I, up. I like, know. Oh, it's amazing. Done. But she happened to show this pattern. And I got this book when I went antiquing with my friend Lori. Now Lori Holt. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, she was going to start it. And so I pulled it out. And I had this fiddler's cloth that... Um, my coworker gave to me because she's big into estate sales. And so she found this and gave it to me. And it's pretty much like Ada. It's got a little more texture to it. And that's all I did. It's 14 count. And it was just kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of experimenting and stuff. But it's it's full coverage pretty much. I mean, yeah. And it's that Mary Ingle brand. And look, you'll be in backstage heaven on that. Chart. I will be. So this is the wall, and this is the edge of the curtain, so I thought I'll... But this is more of a summery spring piece, and I'm feeling the Christmas, you know, it's like, I want to work edge on Edge of this. the curtain, what do you mean? Oh, sorry. It's a different oh, pattern. Okay. Sorry, I had her with the wrong thing. A whole other pattern. You see a curtain there. Yeah. Right there. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Got it. You see the curtain? Yeah. And it's a quote from Abraham Lincoln. Most folks are about as happy as they make up their minds to be. Yeah. That is the truth. I, after you, you showed that on Instagram or something, I'm like, mm -hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> Try to be happy you're not going to school. Yeah. I, I do love I do love my kindergartners. They're just they are sweet. So energetic. One of my little boys, his parents picked him up and his siblings early to go get um, pictures taken. They're doing family photos. I'm like, oh that's awesome, so and so. So anyways, next day I'm like, how did it go? And he's like, Ugh. his sister's a teenager. She's 16. She kept doing this. <laughs> <laughs> and then my cousin, she was doing this. <laughs> so I just, and he's a little tiny guy. So watching him, and it was so funny. So I made him do it again today. I'm like, can you do that one more time? <laughs> I just want to see it. He's like, sure. So then everybody's running around trying to pose like his older sister. This one I did not get done. I just, I don't know, I fell off the wagon. I fell off the wagon, <coughs> literally. And I love Primrose Cottage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's as far as I got. I didn't do called for. I changed it up because called for would not show up on my broom grass. Wow. So Michelle, uh, she's going to go to the retreat two she's into the stitch <laughs> she got hers done it's very Michelle, cute isn't she only been stitching like two months or something yeah and she's <laughs> like she's like designing her own stuff oh my land but she has you know she has a background in design oh, okay. and, yeah there you go so i created yes my what i want to do is take the ghost out no <laughs> ghost and turn this into a fall happy oh yeah happy fall instead because that way it can stay up, you know, for three months. Right. Rather than turn around, take it all down. So I'll have little kids here. So I can do that. Okay, then this one I haven't touched since probably March. I haven't seen that, have I? I've shown it. Oh. <laughs> but I, I've not done it. Carol Saltbox Stitcher showed hers on our last video, oh, okay. our second to last video, one of the videos, and I'm like, oh, I need to do it. You can hold Ground it. Ground bird sampler. And this is on fabric flare parchment. It's so pretty. This oh, fabric is pretty. really pretty. I don't know if you can see very well. I'm holding it up. Yeah. Can you see? Yep. Very good. Okay. I'm doing the uh, belt. Is it Belsois silks? Oh, yeah. Belsois. And I got this like two years ago. Look how fast I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> so. And it says, Lord, guide my heart that mm -hmm. I may do thy will and fill my hands with such convenient skill. Mm. It's pretty. And I haven't worked on it, so this is one I need to pull out. So that's my thing. I'm like, I have all this beautiful stuff, and I just want more. He's listening. Um, <laughs> I want more, but I want to have you watch 14 You want more what? More stuff. Oh. More patterns, <laughs> more fabric, more everything. Um, but 14 count Ada girl. I like how she does hers. She works on 20 to 25 whips a month. Hmm. 100 stitches per whip. And boy, she makes progress. It's impressive to watch. <laughs> and the final whip that I should totally finish is this one. I know. Very sad. I was so excited. And what have I done? Nothing. <laughs> I pulled it out this spring and I did put some in. And I have a thread hanging on there because... I don't want to lose that color. <laughs> oh, we have quite a bit done on her. Yeah, I got her. a long yeah, ways she's to go. A big girl. So, Moonlight Stitcher. Am I saying that right? Moonlight Stitchery. Moonlight Stitcher. Phoebe. She has a Mirabilia she's working on right now. But it's the lady with the um, violin in the garden or whatever. It's huge. Oh, yeah. She's been doing two threads a day. She's making progress. That's good. So Stitching like, mommy, I think, is working. Yeah, on that yeah. So I'm like, maybe I should just do that because I would love to have her up at Fourth of July. Yeah. And then watching Christy cross hatch quilts, hers was in the background. I'm like, ugh. And she's the reason I wanted it in the first place. So is the gold on this? Is that the teacher's or No, that's no. cranic. Ooh. It's awful to work with. Yeah. It's true. It sucks. Yeah. And this is on Ada. I can't imagine on linen. 
what that would be like. Maybe you guys have opinions about that. I wouldn't want to do it. So those are my whips. What's, did you show that right there? That piece? No, that's next. Okay. <laughs> no. I still have more. Get to whip it. <laughs> okay, whip it. Whip it good. I just made the dog jump 12 feet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is haul. And you oh, already showed your haul. shopping. I did. So I'll show my shopping. Sorry, guys. Sorry if you're seeing my booty. So opinion. Step one. So I got this fabric. It's called Haunted Hollow mm -hmm. from Rogue Stitching. Mm -hmm. It was a dark, dark, almost black oh. and blue. And I have come to the conclusion I can't see. I just cannot see that dark color. It's just annoying to me. You know, I started that deer. Okay, I gave up. Mm -hmm. I got home and I'm like, I can't see. I cannot see. Mm -hmm. So I threw it in a basket. I'm like, I will talk to you later. <laughs> So what I did, words. yes, I Googled <laughs> how to get dye out. So I bleached it. <laughs> ah. What do you think? Well, Should it ain't black anymore. No, or blue. <laughs> <laughs> I bleached it and I'm like, should I do like a coffee tea dye and make it more, a little more brown? Or leave it like it is? Or add a little more gray? And for that deer stitch? Or just for anything? No, for anything. Oh. I've kind of walked away from the deer. Oh. Talked to the hand. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to stitch this. I do not oh. want to stitch this right now. So why am I obligating? But look at look at that. Yeah. By that's... taking out all that blue, look what was underneath. I think that's what interesting. That? This part's actually really cool. Yeah. I don't know. So if anybody has any ideas. Let me know if I should coffee, yeah. tea dye, get it more brown. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. that tends to be more the color I, I lean towards. Yeah. I don't know. So anyways, that's one of my things. I can't remember if I showed this, but I did get little Santa. Little Santa. Really would like to start him, but no, I'm going to wait. <laughs> And then my sweet friend got me this from the attic. See? See, it says the attic. I want to start this. Sweet in, friendships. Yes, I want to start this in 12 by 12. And you'll have to stitch it on milk and honey. Yeah. <laughs> milk and sugar. Milk cream and, and sugar. Cream That's and what sugar. it was. Cream and sugar. Cream and sugar. And then this was a freebie. Mm. Uh, Primrose Cottage on Friday had this as a freebie and talked to Shelly, Prairie Fire Stitcher. She's already got it done. She showed it. Because I'm like, I was talking on the phone about the retreat. And I'm like, yeah, somebody got this done. She's like, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Somebody. <laughs> this is how much. Little, her little snowman in the, in the thing done, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's huge. That is also Primrose. These so ladies... Cute. And their their quilting patterns were tempting. Okay, mm -hmm. this one. Mm. Oh my! So I was watching. That's rosewood, man. Yes, it is. That's weird how we both got a rosewood here. So I was watching the <laughs> Sin City Stitcher, and she's in Las Vegas, and she has a lot of videos. <laughs> What a great name. <laughs> Fabulous Sin name. She, and she looks normal. What so, happens in Vegas? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, oh, it was so pretty. She doesn't have it done. She was just, she's got it a little bit done. I'd say a fourth. I was like, oh, hmm. must have. But look at the pattern. I kind of struggle with how they made this pattern. There's a lot of changes. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like... I don't like the page breaks, how they did it. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have my work cut out for me when I finally start. And if you could that. photocopy and paste it all together. That's probably <laughs> what's going to happen. Because it's like, ah, oh, yours looks a lot easier. But that's okay. Oh, that's it's worth the sacrifice. Gorgeous. I'm thinking maybe next Christmas. That would be a lot mm -hmm. of fun to start. Or this Christmas. Okay, and then I blame oh, Lala no. D. Stitcher because she keeps showing her progress on this, on Autumn Lane Stitchery. And that thing that is, is pretty, pretty much full coverage, yeah. too. Um, yeah, I, that See, is full coverage. See what's happening called? to yeah. me? 
It's so pretty. And then, <laughs> this is I really lost it. I'm like, you did it. You did not. I did. <laughs> Look at the thickness. <laughs> and it's and all. It's to page 87. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all uh, the 14 count Ada girl's fault. She showed this. And it's funny because. Lori and I have both always like, we don't understand why people want to do these. These look awful, huge. And then when 14 Count Ada Girl showed it was girl stitching, it's a stitcher, what's it called? A stitching shelf. I was right, like, on just to look oh at this my thing. gosh, those are, those are stitchers. Those are stitchers. I have to have this. And it is. It's like 87 pages. She's not She's not no, off. I was throwing numbers out. <laughs> I think you're about right. Well, is it 87? 76? Uh -huh. 84. <laughs> so, wow. Look at that. Look at that. 725. It's wide by 518 high. Oh, wow. <laughs> and see, I'll do it on you. You're going to have to sell the farm to get you the thing for me. And I also blame Small Town Stitches, too. Does she do that? Yeah. I yeah, don't know if she's, she's done some. this, but... She's really sweet. I do. I like to watch I do, time. too. So she's talked about a different kind of floss to use. I can't remember the name. CC Cross Country or something like that floss. I know that's not right. But she says it's cheaper than DMC and it's fluffier. So mm -hmm. I might look into that eventually. When would I start this? I would like to start it this summer. Oh, wow. Such ambitious goals. <laughs> you I, go, Tara. I will. You can't have a finish without a start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I... Uh, I just figure it'll take that long to afford the floss. <laughs> so, so there. So that is my haul. And then a couple more quilty hauls. Have I started any quilting at all? No. Oh. I got it. I know. I heard. I and think we'll it, be best friends for a long <laughs> yes, time. Right, Tara? Copy, please. <laughs> I got it. I oh my gosh, look at that back. Let me see the back. Oh I Amazing. love it. I'm like and they said it used to come in a kit. Could you imagine the wow. colors? Oh, sorry, I'm gonna carefully bend it. You can kind of see the colors. It's so pretty. So it, is I, that and that's not like wool. No. It's like turn the edges. Yep. This mm. is hand applique, and I'm not gonna do hand applique. I would do machine, most likely, except yeah. maybe some of it. And then I got this. I couldn't stand it. Book of oh, Mario. I know. And she, they showed all the quilts in the book on Fat Quarter Shop. They had a show, a trunk show. <gasps> and Laurie admitted she had not done them all, but um, she had a lot of help. But oh, it was. So, so amazing. Yep. Right? We're building up our retirement stash. <laughs> and then we went to the Nebraska, what's it called? Thread. Uh, Threads Across Nebraska. Threads Across Nebraska. And we found some patterns and some fabric. So I grabbed that one. And this is Patchwork Pumpkin Kit. And it's by... Just Prairie Point Junction. I wonder who the pattern is. Oh, Patchwork Pumpkin Trio by Ten Sisters. I have never heard of them. Have you heard of them? Mm -hmm. So I would really like to do that, but you know. And then I couldn't stand it. I had to grab this. I actually left, I left you. I abandoned her <laughs> and went back to go get these. Because I'm like, oh my gosh. And that's a, this is a Lori Holt quilt. Look at those fabrics. Yeah, <sighs> I love it. So cute. Ah, so, a lot of insanity here, <laughs> but that's okay. We're all in this together. Fun to be crazy. Yes, it is, especially <laughs> my stitching shelf. <laughs> Max colors. I know. You go. I know. Um, Cornhusker State Stitchers, it's kind of like her mom and her mm -hmm. um, 
she gets all these full covers and her mom's like, oh darn it, now I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> Terry and Jamie, they're great. All right, time for giveaways. It oh, is my foss anniversary. Oh. It's year two. And so I ordered oh, some patterns that I wanted for myself, but I'm going to give them away. How nice of you. Yes, it's a share away. So you must be 18 years old. This time you must be in the U.S. Um, I have had us very expensive to ship around the world. Mm. <laughs> so, so you must be in the U.S. and don't say we should get it, go on a trip and deliver them. Oh, that would be so fun. <laughs> I would have to sell all my cross stitch stuff to make that happen. And quilting. Um, so must be 18. Don't say giveaway or whatever. You know the alert words for the trolls out there. Although I've never met any real trolls before <laughs> on the internet. Oh, they're real. But they are real. Apparently they're still in my credit card number. Okay, <laughs> yeah. first one. I thought this was cute. That is adorable. Artful offerings. This was one, so if you're interested in this, say number one, cozy winter sampler. Maybe you want to do this while I do it too. If you do. The second one, this is that wee little Ooh. Santa from um, Heart and Hand. I'm planning to stitch this this winter if I can. At least get it started. It's so cute. So this, cute. if you're interested in this, it's number two. And she can show this one. Stacy Nash, Mary Mary Pinkeep. I love that. Isn't it cute? And that's number three if you're interested in that and would like to have it. And then this one. I did get myself one. Oh. <laughs> I did get myself a special uh -huh. gift. Uh, this is number four, Home for Christmas. Plum Street samplers, you know, we love our Plum Street. We gotta have it. I did look at my pattern and opened it up. This this is, yeah, it's a, quite the border, but it's beautiful. So that's number four. And Pennsylvania Christmas 2 by... Uh, yeah, sorry, yes. Uh, this is number five. So if you're interested in this one, put down number five in your comments. And I've seen several people do this with different colors. Some change the colors, do more Christmassy. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, so pretty. And of course, Primrose Cottage. You gotta have one of those Quakers. The Christmas quilt. I um Sherry Colorado Cross Stitcher. Oh my god. I love everything she does. Okay, she's my idol. And I have a lot of idols. So. Yeah. Wait, we're not supposed to have no. idols. Cast this is number six. <laughs> no! <laughs> this is number six. Okay. And then number seven, I love this one. Joy by Erin Elizabeth. Um, so say seven. Erin Elizabeth, she must have been at, was she at the New England... Stitchers retreat because I've been trying to watch videos about retreats to learn what they're like. So I know what to do for a retreat to help our prairie one. And Erin Elizabeth was there and there were some pictures of her. She is so talented. So this mm -hmm. is number seven. Pretty. Number eight is another Erin Elizabeth. Several people mm -hmm. have been doing this one. Ooh. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Believe. I love that. I like the colors. I know everybody's changing colors and doing their own thing, but the way yeah. she did it, yeah. there's yeah, a reason that. we all like it. That so that's tealish blue. Yes. That's eight. I have some kindergartners asked me the other day, what do, you, what do you get when you mix blue and green? And I'm like, bluish green or greenish blue? And they're like, I know it's teal. I'm like, oh, okay. Whoa. Sassy little kindergartners. <laughs> Sorry. This one I wanted to keep for myself. I admitted to Lori ahead of time. I don't want to give this one away. <laughs> Number nine, deck the halls. I love the drawn thread. I love the drawn thread. It's it's a designer I've overlooked, and now I'm like, I ordered, oh yeah, I have four more patterns from drawn thread. I should go drag out, but I'm not going to because this video is really long. So if you want this oh, one, number nine, nice? sorry, my dog is running around, so. And the final one, number 10, is the one I am working on. So if you're interested in Joan Elliott, Christmas in Blue, number 10. And my dog, my dog's going crazy. <laughs> I'm so used to her, I don't hear her half the time, unless she starts barking. 
Okay, checking the notes. This was a long one. Okay, got that, got that. For the most part. <laughs> Gail, what'd you call my dog? <laughs> Rosie. We'll see if we can get rid of her. There she goes. We're almost done, ready to wrap up. So, whip go. I decided I'm gonna do it. Okay. Can you tell why? Yeah, there's a pile. <laughs> you kind of have a pile too. Yeah, I do. So I don't feel super bad. I mean, I'm slightly bad, but I think I'm going to do it. I don't know how I'll do the board. So the first time I tried whip going, I talked about this last year or the year before. No, it had to be last year. I'm like, I don't know why people do whip go. I know now why people do whip go. Because when I tried to do whip go, I had three projects. No. I have like 30. So <laughs> I'm going to do whip go. And I know some people have talked how they've gotten a little burned out, but I'm like, if even if I do it January, February, March, I'll be focused and do some stitching. At least yeah. I'll, I'll be excited. I'll be like, I'm going to do it. Yeah. And then jingle ball. We're going to the jingle ball. Very excited. December 6th. Did you know that? Starts Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> And then Saturday all day, and then Sunday, I think I saw till like 2 a.m. or something like that. Oh my. I don't know if I can stare at a computer that long. <laughs> Although, I guess I watch a lot of TV, so yeah. I'll be fine. I'll exercise my eyeballs, watch more TV. <laughs> We've been watching Nashville. We are obsessed with it. for it. Yes, yes. We've watched, a, we've been binge watching my husband and I in Nashville, so. It's really a terrible show. I love it. Mm. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. It's a Let's soap about Nashville. Yeah, Nashville. Okay. It was a TV series like 10 years ago. Mm. It's a soap opera. It's a singing soap opera is what I've come <laughs> to decide. Singing. A little bit of country music <laughs> with a little drama and people doing things they shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. And then you're like sucked in it. So, But I am getting tired of the two main characters fighting all the time. Raina and Deacon are always fighting. I'm like, would you just get along? So anyways, I think that wraps it up. Anything you want to add? No. Yeah, Thank so. you, Lori, for doing this. You're this welcome. was a long video, guys. So I hope you got comfortable and enjoyed. Please leave comments. Be sure to like and subscribe so you get the little reminder because I'm going to try and do better than seven weeks. It's been seven weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm hoping to do another video in the next couple of weeks because this is hard work trying to remember everything I did. And there's a whole bunch I still didn't bring out. Don't tell. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, you guys. We appreciate it. Bye. Bye.